What's up guys, Mitchell Watts with Town & Country TV and today we are going to talk about the differences in between lift kits, leveling kits, and also the coilover kits. And so if you're confused about what kind of kit you want for your next F-150, or I guess this can apply to all different trucks, this is the video for you. Now shameless plug, these particular trucks at the time I'm cutting this video are available for sale on our website, alabamaford.com. They are linked below if you want some more information about that. But as you guys know, we don't use this channel to hard sell you anything. Nobody likes those sleazy videos we like to inform you and hopefully teach you something and that's what this video is all about so let's go ahead and talk about the differences between a leveling kit lift kit and then also the high end which is going to be the coil over kits uh, because i know that's a big question so the first thing you'll see is you can do a two and a half inch bds leveling kit which by the way i'm going to use bds as a reference point because we are a bds dealer we're also a ready lift uh, dealer so we can help you with that stuff as well uh, but just for a reference point let's just use bds for this video. Uh, so the BDS two and a half inch leveling kit comes with what I like to call a hockey puck style of a level. Uh, so basically what they do is you take the, the strut, the factory strut out of the vehicle and you put a puck on top of it and then you also take the strut apart and put another puck on the inside. And so when you put that strut back in there, the Ford factory strut back in there, it pushes the suspension down by two and a half inches, meaning that the center of the hub now compared to what it was is two and a half. Now this truck is a six inch lift kit. And so I'm just trying to show you something for reference. And we're gonna talk about the six inch in just a second. Uh, but a, a leveling kit is all it does is it just pushes the stuff that's already there down. The lift kit actually replaces all of the steering and suspension stuff underneath the hood. So that way it maintains the proper steering geometry you need so you don't run into long-term issues with CVs, CV joints and axles and all this other kind of stuff. Um, so if you're going to be hardcore abusing the vehicle, you might want to uh, actually consider the lift kit instead of the leveling kit because once again, you're primarily using factory parts. Uh, so that is going to be most of your lift kit, uh, leveling kits. Now you've got some options with going with what's called the upper control arm, a, a new upper control arm. And that is going to be this little piece of the suspension here. This is the factory upper control arm. And on the BDS six inch lift kit and also on the leveling kits, all of that stuff stays the same. But you'll notice this little axle or this little angle right here, it's perfectly well within normal because this is a lift kit and it retains all that factory geometry. But on a leveling kit as you can see right there on the screen those angles are going to be a little bit more dramatic now if you want to fix that simply get you an aftermarket upper control arm and that'll fix that but in full disclosure i've got a two and a half inch leveling kit on my personal f-150 i've got about thirty thousand miles on that truck and i've got the factory uh, upper control arm no, no issues there at all all right so that is kind of be kind of your your idea for the leveling kit it basically just pushes stuff down that's there's not a whole lot to talk about there but what there is a lot to talk about is what is on this truck and also the truck behind me and that is going to be a six inch lift or a four inch kit so let's talk about the four inch kit first uh, a four inch lift kit replaces all of the stuff that you need to replace just like the six inch does it just happens to be two inches shorter than the six and that's why a lot of people they reach out to me they're like i want to do a four inch kit a four inch lift kit from bds because it's going to save me some money well it actually isn't it's the same price and it's the same uh you know price for installation and for the parts because you have to do the exact same procedures it's just two inches shorter um so i guess what i'm trying to tell you is between the four inch and the six inch that there is there is no difference except for hey, one may or may not fit in my driveway or in my garage, and one definitely won't, depending on how big your, your garage is. So let's talk a little bit about the actual suspension itself. How does the six inch get to where it is to get that full six inches worth of lift? So as you can see on this particular truck, you've got this cross member that is completely lowering the vehicle. So these lower control arms that you have right here, they're mounted into this BDS cross member. When the, everything was factory, this same factory uh, lower control arm was actually bolted into right here. And so as you can see, they've moved it as far as you can see right there. So that, that's something you need to know. So they dropped this cradle. Some people call it a cradle. Some people call it a cross member. You can call it whatever you want to. But they drop everything. They bolt it in. They bolt everything up 
and that is one of the reasons that the steering geometry and the suspension geometry is able to stay the same. Now the other thing that you need to know about a 6 inch and a 4 inch lift kit through BDS is you actually have to cut the frame. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you a good picture of that or a live video so I might have to just put that on the screen but you do have to trim up one of the pieces of the frame and so it's very important that whoever installs your lift kit on your truck doesn't do it uh, you just don't want them experiment on your truck because if they cut too much guess what congratulations you just bought a frame so it's very very important that when you're cutting that frame you don't cut all that you need you have to just cut a little piece of the ear off that's what i like to call it but you cut the corner off of it and then you grind it back into place because if you get in that plasma cutter and you're cutting and you sneeze all of a sudden you're done you just bought a frame so just make sure whoever installs your lift kit uh, knows what the crap they're doing we've got one or two guys here that do all of our lift kits and that's pretty much all they do so if you want an experienced person working on your your truck you can feel free to call us the number is right there on the screen we'll be happy to walk you through that scenario or you can just buy a truck that's already converted just like this one is but that is something that you need to know is that they drop everything down to maintain those factory uh, geometry and that way you can kind of go about it that way all right so now um, what makes this six inch lift kit different than the coilovers because I have a lot of people say I need coilover kits I need coilover kits and I start asking them some questions what do you do with it what do you do with it and I'm like no dude you do not need coilovers unless you just want them uh, because this particular kit I think runs roughly 1900 bucks or two grand I can't remember off the top of my head uh, but the reason this one is a little bit less expensive than the coilover kit is uh, Josh as you bring the camera in one of the ways we've already talked about how they drop the cross member up front but how they get the lift up here is they retain the ford factory strut located right there now that ford factory strut is simply accommodated by what you have right here which is very similar to the hockey puck um, uh, leveling kit that we talked about earlier it's just a lot bigger it's six inches instead of two and a half inches or technically it's not six inches in here it's six inches when you're comparing that to the actual tire how far the tire has moved down so basically what we're looking at is a much bigger hockey puck located right here that is bolted on top of the ford factory strut in between this piece and the cross member and then dropping all of the the front differential and everything it pushes everything down um, the difference between this one and what you have with the coilover a coilover is exactly what it sounds like it is a coil that is mounted over a shock absorber it replaces the entire it replaces this piece the Ford factory strut and it gives you a brand new spring that is wrapped around a actual offer and so in in the tune of um, the BDS setup it is a Ford excuse me it is a Fox racing coilover and it's actually got an external bypass and it's got a lot of nice things that allow you if what what is a coilover for it is for the person that is going to be hardcore abusing the truck if you're not going to be hardcore abusing the truck then you may or may not need a coilover. Now the cool part is you can actually buy the coilovers after the fact and install them if you decide this is not good enough for you. But the big difference that you're gonna find between this lift kit, where I said it's like 1,900 bucks roughly, uh, the coilover kit I think is like 38 or $3,900 for just the parts. Now it's gonna be the, about the same price to install both of those, uh, maybe a little bit more for the coilover, but that is something that you need to know is that if you're not hardcore off-roading, or maybe towing something where you need to, the adjustability. Um, if you're not abusing the truck and you're just cruising down the down the interstate like I would be, I, like I go off-roading every now and then, but I'm not jumping the truck. And if you're not jumping the truck or getting after it, you may or may not need those coilovers. But the good part is you can always make that decision later in life if you want to save the money or the cash on the front end. Now, the one thing we didn't talk about on the lifts are gonna be the rear suspension. So BDS uh, does a great job of maintaining a really good ride quality, even with their most basic entry level lift kit. And one of the ways that they do that is going to be for the rear suspension. Now on the rear suspension and Josh coming all the way to the back might be a little bit easier for you to see, but you can see that they've got a much larger block that is designed to get the lift in the rear. Now you've got two different sizes for the block in the rear. You've actually got a four inch block and you've got a five inch block depending on how you want that truck to sit. 
Uh, so just keep that in mind that you have that ability to customize that if you want to, whether you want the truck perfectly flat or if you still want just a little bit of rake in case you're going to be towing the vehicle. And as you can see, or maybe you can't see it too well, but you also have a set of Fox shocks that go in the rear of the truck as well. Uh, it's kind of neat to be able to see the behind the scenes of what it looks like to lift a truck versus leveling a truck. And I hope I didn't confuse you in this video. Hopefully it was beneficial and hopefully it helped clear some things up, but I guess my main thing is you have to assess what is right for you. What are you going to be doing with the truck? Are you going to be towing a lot? Are you going to be towing some kids? What are you going to be doing with it? And at that point, I can pretty much say that it's probably not a bad idea. If you're going to lift the truck anyways, go ahead and lift it. And if you've got the cash to burn, definitely get the coilovers because it, it may or may not ride a little bit better depending on what you're doing with the truck. But if you're a little bit short on cash, that would be the very first thing that I would skip on a lift kit would be the coilovers. I'd go with that puck design that we just showed you on both of these trucks, and you can always upgrade those coilovers at a later time. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. As you guys know, we are a channel, we are a Ford dealership that also has a YouTube channel that is designed to try and help you understand what it looks like to lift and level your truck or all kinds of things off-road and customization. And we understand a lot of you guys will never ever buy a vehicle from us and we're totally cool with that. The one thing we ask in advance is just subscribe to our channel with the bell notification. That's the only thing we want. And also share the videos with your friends and family if it's helped you in any kind of a way. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day.